Hey everybody, and welcome to my April 2021 manga haul. In this video, I've got a whole bunch of DVDs, some Blu-rays, picked up some video games, and I got some manga too. Alright, so let's get started. Hey, alright, so we got some more eBay packages right here. Ooh. Well, well, well. BL. Got Bleach Season 1. The complete box set. Alright, Bleach the Substitute. Um. This is all of Season 1? Neat. Alright, let's open this up. <laughs> it's upside down. Oh look, they even, this, the seller even put a little bit of bubble wrap inside to keep it nice. Aw, oh, that's so nice of them. Cool, yeah, episodes 1 through 20. Very nice. No art cards, but uh, they, I mean, these have, been, these have been out of print for like 10 years, so like, what do you can expect? I, I, I don't really expect to get art cards from this one. More bubbles. Very nice. Got some art. That was very nice of them to put all these bubbles in there. Cool. Very nice. I like these flip book styles. It almost makes them look like a like an actual just book. Uh, I really like these a lot. I just kind of wish these were plastic instead of paper, but oh well. So this box is a little bit worn down. A microfiber cloth with that tiny, tiny bit of rubbing alcohol on it. Uh, probably will remove most of these little stains and scuffs without damaging the cardboard. This is pretty waxy cardboard, so if I'm real careful, it shouldn't affect it at all. Uh, there is a sticker here. A paper-based sticker, so... Paper-based sticker on paper, uh... Not usually a good sign, but uh, yeah, I'll try my best to remove this uh, eventually. So here's a pretty, um, a pretty big eBay package. It's pretty light, so maybe it's just one. It might just be one DVD, and they just packaged it really nicely. Mm hmm. What's in the news? I have made a severe and continuous lapse in judgment. Among us. Let's go! We got two bleaches, baby! So, yeah, so I got uh, two bleach sets on accident. Basically, basically. Here's the- here's what happened, everybody. Here's the lore. I bid on this one, and then this one was like half as much money. This one was like $10, and this one was like $5 or something. Maybe like 6 something like that. And so I forgot about this one at like 2 a.m. I, I bid on this one, and I'm like, oh, sweet. This one's way cheaper. I don't have to worry about this one. And in my head, I was so tired, I thought that I, like, put this on my watch list or something. Turns out, I bid on it. And no one bid against me. So I ended up paying... <laughs> now you're probably thinking, Buzz, that's really stupid. But here's the thing. This one is so much better quality. Like, look at this. This one, we got all these stains and scuffs. And dings. Uh, this one's got like a bad spine. It's like sun faded too. It's kind of strange. I don't really mind that I bought two because I'll just get rid of this one. So that'll be something I'll have to bother with later. <gasps> but I got the art cards! Let's go! Guys, that was my plan all along. Um, I, it was just a 200 IQ play. I wanted everything. Okay, what do we got? This isn't an art card. This is a poster. Whoa. Ooh, well, 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 we have an Ichigo 
poster here. Try to get this in frame. Too bad it's one of those weird folded posters, but it looks kind of sick. And on the other side, we have concept art. Very nice. Well, let's go. Cool. God works in mysterious ways. At long last, NBA is back in New York City. Let's go. I don't know who that is. Yeah, baby. Jake packs heat. Dog loses his job. What is the world coming to? That newspaper smells incredibly strongly of smoke. I mean, like cigarette smoke. I'm pretty sure what these stains are, and the reason why this whole set is actually like a darker color than this one, is probably smoke contact. So, cool. Ready, get set, go! Perfect! Great! Look at that! Wonderful! Better than Mama! Here's another one. Another bubble pack! They did it again! Ooh. Ooh, clean. All right. Here's season four, part one. Different packaging this time. Um, these are the. This is the when they stopped using those really cool flipbook style ones, and they started using just thin DVD cases. Not a big deal. It still has the same out of box, outer box type, so it's not that big of a deal that it looks a little bit different. I mean, to be fair, Season 4 Part 2 uses a normal DVD case entirely, so it's not like it's possible to be consistent anyways. So we got Ichiko in the cover, and then we got a little hidden Rukia. Got, I got a nice stack of small eBay packages here. Most of these should be uh, DVDs and Blu-rays, so. All right, what do we got? All right, we got Bleach, set six. Very nice. Or no, no, this is set eight. <laughs> Bleach, set eight. All right, so this is when they started using just the uh, normal DVD cases with the slipcase instead of the cardboard stuff. Uh, which, to be fair, you know, these will last longer. They won't get worn down as easily, so that's nice. And then with the slipcover, it still has the classic look on the side. It's just a little thinner. Oh well, yeah, bleach number eight. Very nice. This is a very good condition for an out-of-print uh, set. Ooh, got Bleach set nine. Uh, so this one doesn't have a slipcase, I guess. That's interesting. All right. Uh, this set is just uh, filler content, filler episodes. So I guess it's not a big deal that it's um. That doesn't have a slipcover or anything. It's gonna look a little bit weird on the shelf to just be like this and not have a slipcover, because then this is gonna be the only one that looks this way. Oh well. Anyway, if you're, if you're wondering why just now I started to get uh, Blu-rays, it's because this is the newest set that has been released in Blu-rays. And this is also around the time when Bleach actually starts looking like a modern anime with, you know, 1080p and widescreen and all that. And so I decided to, um, get these new ones on Blu-ray. Um, for the earlier sets, you know, the quality 
looks more like an older anime from the early 2000s, and so getting it on Blu-ray doesn't really change all that much, since it was never an HD show to begin with. But with these newer episodes, uh, you know, there will be a noticeable upgrade by getting it on Blu-ray, so that's what I decided to go with. Ooh. Oh man, this is a... Uh, this is definitely, uh... <laughs> It's used, that's for sure. Oh, it's upside down. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, well this is Bleach, set 6. So the same uh, DVD style. Uh, this looks weird. Um, it's kind of nasty to be honest, I don't know what this is. Joni. Shout outs to. Oh. Tony? That does not look like a T. Looks like heat damage that kind of matches the uh, the shape of this cutout right here. So it looks like somebody might have put this on like a really hot computer or left it out in the sun or something. There, we got another one here. Ooh, this one's pretty wrapped up. This one's wrapped up pretty tight. Man, this thing's in Fort Knox. I managed to dig it out. Eh. Alright, and we got another one. This isn't upside down. This is how it's supposed to look, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, we got Bleach Set 7. Cool. This one's actually in nice condition. That's good. Discs here. Ooh, what's this? Get your Bleach First in Shonen Jump magazine. Six issues for only 15 asterisk dollars. Alright, and here's another one. Got Doom 2016 for PS4. And it also has this poster here, which is fun. I didn't, even know, I didn't even know Doom 2016 on PS4 came with a poster. I would have assumed it would have been like a, you know, like a limited edition item. But uh, let's take a look here. Ooh. So we got one of the, one of the enemies here. Very cool. And on the back, there's nothing. <laughs> it's just blank. Well... That's a cool insert, I guess. Well. Cool. And one last item for right now. I got... Star Wars. The Porsche... <laughs> the Porsche Unleashed. Um. Yeah, so this is the Force Unleashed for PlayStation 3. Uh, for a long time, I never played this game. Because my back in the day, uh, the family computer was not powerful enough to play this game. Now that I actually own a PS3 for playing some other exclusives, for playing PS3 exclusives, I decided to go ahead and get this. I mean, I could just play the PC version now, but like, I kind of wanted to fulfill the dream. You know what I mean? <laughs> Make my younger self proud and get the rich boy version. Alright. <clears throat> I mean, it looks cool. I've heard good things about this game. It's one of the most, it's one of the fan favorite Star Wars game I hear, much like the original two Star Wars Battlefronts. So, I'll be giving this a try sometime soon, hopefully. This just came in the mail. Got the new Shaman King 3 in 1. This is a soft cover omnibus uh, for Shaman King. A lot of people were really worried that these soft covers would be uh, really flimsy and the spines would break after only like one read through and to be honest, you're exactly right. Uh, even just casually opening this up, immediately brand new, this just came in the mail, it's already bending like this. It's pretty much a guarantee 
that these are gonna get creased spines. You're gonna have to keep a close watch on these spines while you're reading <laughs> for them to not get completely destroyed. <laughs> After a while, there's gonna be tape holding these together at libraries. The pages themselves are nice. Um, the pages are very crispy. They're normal manga thick. They're more. Bleh, they're normal manga thickness. The paper is nice and bright. The contrast is good. Um, as far as a re-release of uh, Shaman King goes, uh, we are getting a decent upgrade in terms of just the print quality. But the the sad fact is that the the thin covers and the paper thin spine just aren't going to hold these together. It's just not. And right here, ooh, I got the Legend of Korra, the complete series. Very nice. Um, Legend Legend of Korra, of course, being a sequel series to the ever popular Avatar: The Last Airbender. I thought this show was fine. When I was a kid, this was one of my favorite animated shows. I mean, of course, I watched it way back in the day when I was like 14, but you know what I mean. Dude, this show started in 2012? Wow, I was... I'm so old. I was 13 when the show started airing. I'm a boomer! Alright, Sonny, so we're gonna start reviewing Avatar The Last Airbender's sequel show. Alright, so right off the bat, this is a broken disc tray. It does not hold the first disc. It's not a good sign. I don't know. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna hold this disc in so it doesn't go flying on us. Uh, disc 1 air. Disc 2 air. three. Disc 1 spirits. Disc 2 spirits. Disc 3 change. Disc 2... Sorry. Disc 1 change. Disc 2. And then... One, and then two. For balance. So eight discs. Or sorry, yeah, eight discs. For the entire four seasons. That's alright. That's alright. I mean, at least they use these nice looking Blu-ray clamshells that don't really look weird on the shelf. Oh, and look, also the clamshell on the bottom doesn't latch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Here's another pre-order from Amazon I just got in. This is Bang Dream, uh, third season. I saw the first uh, two seasons of this show, and I really liked it. Uh, and then I was super excited to start watching season three when it was airing. Uh, but then High Dive got exclusivity of it. So I couldn't watch it anywhere else besides High Dive, and of course High Dive is only a paid platform. So I'm like, nope. Like if the series was already out, I just would have used like a free trial to watch it. But um, <laughs> the show was airing, so it would have been, I would have had to have paid for like two months to get all of it in. So I finally got it, like a, a year later, and uh, Why? I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. Well, at least this disc tray is actually not broken, and it was just a coincidence from shipping. So yeah, 13 episodes for season 3. I mean, I heard the animation gets better. Uh, the animation was super duper stiff in season 2, and I heard that it improved for this season, uh, so that's good. I'm pretty excited to be watching this. I got um, the Film Live one uh, last couple hauls ago, and that one was just like a music video compilation. It wasn't actually like a, a movie with a storyline. Um, so right now, I'm pretty hyped to actually get some, you know, storyline again from this series. Alright. We got ourselves uh, a receipt. They scotched 
taped the receipt to the cardboard. Why would they do that? No. Oh no. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, emergency avoided. I managed to remove the tape. Unfortunately, it looks like it ate a little bit of the corner, but this cover is pretty spotless, so that's nice. Anyways, this is Bleach Box Set Season 2. Original and uncut. Alright, so yeah, this is a cardboard slipcover. Holy crap. Wow, look at this. Houston, zoom in on this. Wow, that's, that's, um... I was not informed about this, the listing, and didn't have a picture of this at all. Thanks. <laughs> well, it looks like somebody used this as a chew toy for their dog. So these these box sets actually have a really nice um, plastic interior. So it's like this hard clear plastic for each disc. With some artwork after each page. Get this on camera better a second. And yeah, these cases are super duper high quality. Uh, on the inside. The outside is just like, like a folded thin cardboard. It's kind of an origami thing going on. Uh, but the insides of these are fantastic. These I really like these plastic cases they use. They're very high quality. Very sturdy. Very nice looking. And normally there would be art cards in here if you bought these brand new. But these this was a used one. And so it's hard to track down those art cards anymore. Which is unfortunate. But yeah, so this... At least it has all the discs. Uh, discs intact, uh, which is the important part. It looked as a the little cat. It looked as a cat. It is so cute. Uh, mm. Now I got Bleach Season 3's box set. This is uh, the same line of box sets. So I'll show the cover of this one, the back. This one's in far better condition besides a bit of shelfware it got over the years. And yeah, once again, ooh, they got the art cards this time. We got the art cards, let's go. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, another plastic flip book kind of style one going here. Very nice. Man, this thing is hard to hold in the camera. <laughs> and yeah, that's the last page. Huh. Interesting. This is really bizarre packaging, to be honest. We got a pretty tight one right here. <laughs> this one's like shrink wrapped or something. I like think they, they made a mold out of plaster for this packaging. Nice. This is Season 4, Box Set Part 1. And this is in a standard DVD case. Um, so, for Season 4 of Bleach, they did this weird thing where they actually split it up into two DVDs. So I have Season 4 Part 2 right here. And then in that same package from the same seller, I also got the singles for season five. <laughs> I know, very weird. But the nice thing about these singles is that they're the thin DVDs. So on the shelf, they really don't look that weird. I mean, like, look, there's a bit of a difference here, but if let's just pretend that the series looks like this. Um, if we get rid of this shadow a second, it doesn't look that weird, you know? And it kind of just looks like... It kind of looks like one continuing series, they just changed the spine a little bit. Uh, and so I don't really mind that these are the singles, they look fine. 
so yeah season five box set one two three and now volume four so yeah so this is all of season five just different packaging which I don't really mind, to be honest. Owning shows on physical media at all is usually what's most important to me. The packaging looking nice is kind of secondary. So guys, so I just lost like 10 minutes of footage. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna re-show you the stuff that I opened already <laughs> a few minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, All right, so I got Castle in the Sky. This is another Studio Ghibli movie, which I haven't seen before. Um... I don't I, I don't recognize these people from the dub cast. Usually when I watch Ghibli movies, I watch them dubbed. They're, the dubs are usually pretty good for those ones. And I don't recognize these people, so I don't know if that's a good sign. Except for Mark Hamill. But, uh... Yeah, so this is the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Classic G Kids release. Uh, no slipcover for this one, but uh, I mean, it doesn't really need one anyway, so it looks fine. I had. There's this cool limited run box here, see? And uh, I opened it up, and it was pretty epic to see what was inside, but uh, unfortunately, I lost the footage. But to show you what I got. So we have Shantae. This is the. Uh, box set box for all the versions of the games on Switch. Fortunately, they didn't resell all the games. They just had the box for it, so I decided to pick that up. And, so this box looks pretty sweet. Some cute art here. And to go along with that, got Shantae Risky's Revenge for Switch. This is the director's cut, which I believe was the Windows XP compatible version, which I, it's pretty cool to get the director's cut and not the original. And then, I also got this. Got Shantae. This is the original Game Boy Color game uh, ported to Switch. So they added they added a little bit of stuff to this. Basically, they added an actual pause menu, and they added more saving options. And some more, like, sound options and stuff like that, which wasn't present in the original version of the game. Uh, so they basically took the game and emulated it, basically. Uh, so this game should look, run, and sound just like how it did back in the day, except with some new uh, improvements to the UI. So pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to play this game. I've never played the original Shantae before. Uh, the only one I've played, the only Shantae game I've played is the Shantae Half Genie Hero. So pretty excited to get more Shantae stuff. Also, I got some. I got two cards. Of course, limited run games always come with cards, so I got two here. We have the. Shantae still from the first game, and then they have the Risky's Revenge art right here. Very cute. Now, um, I opened this up already, and so the instruction manual looks like a, a Game Boy Color game, which is that's just really cute, honestly. I like that they did that. Like, they didn't need to, and they just, they'd made it. They didn't need to do it like this, and they just did it for the fans that appreciate the Game Boy Color. But that, that like the Game Boy Color, and I think it's really fun. Alright, so we have, like, a traditional style instruction booklet with, like, a lore recap, and then, like, a how-to-play guide. Very nice. With even, like, a note section, I mean... Limited Run throws you way back in the day. I mean, this stuff was actually included with your games. So pretty cool. 
it's pretty epic to get a official re-release of the old Shantae games. Um, these were ones that were, you know, really rare. Shantae games are notoriously expensive and rare to buy because they were sold, you know, didn't sell super well, and then it became like a cult classic, and so everyone's like scalping the prices and everything, and it's, you know, it's hard to get your hands on copies, and uh, so now I'm able to get official ones through limited run on it. That's pretty epic. Oh, and also, we have another one of these. So, limited run li likes to give you these pack-in posters. I don't know if this is the exact same one I got already, but, uh, well, let's take a look. Like we got some team info. Cool. Got some interviews, and then on this side it's just game covers. So it looks like stuff that they have published. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot that they've been releasing Torok. Yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat. I've got a bunch of new packages. Boom. Got bleach. Original and uncut. Twelve. Cool. Alright, so I've got another three disc set. This one's a little scuffed, but hey, it's better than that sun-damaged one I had before. I think, I'm pretty sure these are canon episodes as well, which is always a plus. Got another one of these plastic bag-looking ones. Sweet! Alright, so I've got Bleach Uncut Volumes 9 and 10. So we got... Episodes 146 through 167. More canon episodes, very nice. I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of these cardboard window designs. In my opinion, these would look a whole lot better plain. Especially when the whites don't even match. But oh uh, well. Looks like fine china on my shelf. Yo! Uh, the, these were actually from Declutter Store. Um, Declutter Store was the same place I bought all those Inuyasha CDs from, and they kept sending me the wrong thing over and over. Uh, and they actually pulled through this time and sent me the right thing, so... Looks like I'm not gonna completely ignore their store, just probably not buy CDs specifically from them. Cool. Very nice condition, um, as you can see, the case, you know, looks a little shelf-worn, but it looks pretty much new. So that's very nice. Got an Amazon one. I can't show you this pull tab because it's right next to my address. Oh boy! Got Classmates Volume 3. I recently read Volume 1 of this. <clears throat> and uh, it appeared that this volume was out of stock everywhere. And uh, so I was planning on just dropping the series since it was out of stock. But, um, yeah, this one suddenly popped back in stock on Amazon, so I ordered it real quick, and uh, here we are. I don't know if it'll stay in stock. I know some other manga tubers that have been interested in this series, such as Just a Freak. I've been um, having issues actually finding this in stock anywhere, pretty much. I don't know if it was a, a fluke and it's not even in print right now. Uh, I don't know if it is in print currently. We can check. Alright, first printing 2019. This is a first printing. As you can see by the 1 through 10 code right here. Um. So this is Publisher Overstock. If this is up, this is in stock at Amazon, but this is still a first printing. 
then that would mean this isn't a new printing. This is still publisher overstock from the first time it printed. Which means... It's probably not out of print. And it will probably get another printing if the stock demands it. So that's a good sign for you, everybody out there who wants to uh, maybe pick this series up. Vote with your wallets, buy these volumes. And uh, Seven Seas should get the message and uh, put another one through. So. Oof. Where'd my knife go? Oh, there it is. Hey, let, let's go. Ooh. Got Indiana Jones, The Complete Adventures. Very cool. All right, so. Book style, very fun. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. You know, I didn't really know what to expect when I ordered this, but it just looks like a... It's kind of a limited edition type deal going on right here. Alright, so it is cardboard, but the discs are Blu-rays, so hopefully they won't get uh, damaged. Cool. So yeah, this is Indiana Jones. This should be the first four, right? Or I guess I should say all four. awesome so I've seen um, Raiders of the Lost Ark five or six times over the years I think I only saw this movie to completion once and I saw like half of it again I saw this one a bunch of times as well but I believe I've only seen this once or twice when I was a little kid and so I'm actually excited to give this movie a watch I know it gets I know the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull gets bad reviews and everything but uh you know, I haven't seen it since I was a kid, so I'm kind of excited to check it out again. Alright, we got some, uh... Yo, we got a behind-the-scenes disc! Let's go! Bonus features! You love to see it. I love bonus features, dude. Classic. Nice. Alright, dude, this is super cool. Nice. Awesome. Oof. All right, so this box arrived open. This box arrived like this, and it, uh, it's kind of sus. I hope everything's okay on the inside. All right. This is what it looks like on the inside of that box. They basically put it on a pallet. Look, looks like I'm gonna get my mom gonna deliver it on a forklift. So I decided to complete a series I have been enjoying recently. So I got Ihiro no Sora, Volume 43. Now, these new Ihiro no Sora volumes do not have covers or back art at all. And normally I would open them up to show you like the inner covers and things. But, I actually want to keep these volumes crisp and nice until I read them. And, uh... I won't be taking the saran wrap off right now. This is a pretty long series. I mean, this is volume 43. So, I'm going to take the saran wrap off right before I read them, just to keep them nice and fresh until then. But, uh, so we got volume 44. 45. 46, 47, I'll hold them like this, uh, that's nicer, 48, 49, 50, and 51. Now you'll notice, this one doesn't have a number on it. This one is just a Hero No Sora the Day, part one. Uh, the day is, I guess, the last arc 
in the series and it's no longer being numbered so i don't know why like they first they stopped doing covers entirely and now they just stop numbering it entirely uh so that's a little strange but um i guess you know marketing you're not gonna get you're not gonna use a, a volume 51 to market to new customers i guess would you so I guess that's a tactical move to save on some time. But yeah, very nice. Great sports series. If you like serious sports series with very uh, realistic basketball, with very realistic and lifelike players for the age group they're in, uh, Hiro Nosara is a great choice. You know, this is basically the polar opposite of something like Kuroko's Basketball, where it's kind of a fantasy power trip almost which to be fair i really really like kirkwood's basketball it is actually one of my favorite series but this is a lot different this is a very down-to-earth high school basketball series and uh, if you are in the mood for something that is very true to that sport i would highly recommend the hero no Sora for a basketball series okay so i have one more volume from right now and that would be shark girl Volume 3. So this one, I mean, this is Volume 3. I can open this right now. So the inner art. Well, that's fun. I read Volume 1 so far. I uh, haven't started Volume 2 yet. But I plan on getting it pretty soon. Or I plan on I plan on uh, starting it pretty soon, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the newest release. I don't think there's been any volumes uh, since. Wow, yeah, look, two twelve twenty one for the uh, release date there. Yep, this is pretty brand new. All right. Well, that's everything from right to now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I plan on making more haul videos every month. And uh, I've also been trying to do some more reviews. You can expect more of those in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. See ya!